first two photos on projectile motion. A projectile is anything moving through the air while only under the force of gravity. Um, so we're not talking about things like airplanes and rockets that have other for, uh, forms of propulsion. We're also not talking about things where air resistance is a big factor. So we're not talking about paper or feathers moving through the air. Instead, we're talking about things like baseballs, footballs, golf balls, um, any of those types of things moving. Uh, the, now, we call the trajectory the path that the projectile takes. And the horizontal and vertical movements of the projectile are independent of one another. <clears throat> what that means is that the horizontal motion does not affect the vertical motion. And we've already talked about the vertical motion in terms of free fall. So the horizontal motion is not going to affect anything we learned about free fall up till now. Uh, we also know that the horizontal velocity of the projectile is constant, whereas the vertical motion is accelerating just like we had learned before with free fall. What does that mean then in terms of our equations? If the x direction is constant velocity, we only have one equation with constant velocity, v equals x over t. And if the y direction is accelerating, we have four equations with acceleration, um, which we have learned with free fall. Now, if these two are independent of one another, we've got to keep our velocities intact. We've got to you know, keep, keep them separate from one another. And so we label them as x for our horizontal velocity. And instead of just vf and vi for our vertical, we have vfy and viy. Now the i still means initial, the f still means final, and this means the final velocity in the y direction equals the initial velocity in the y direction plus the acceleration times the time. Uh, notice there's not an initial and final with the x direction, and that is because there is only one velocity in the x, it is constant. What does that mean about our picture of projectile motion? Again, the horizontal velocity is constant, so constant motion means that it moves the same distance each second. So if these are snapshots every second of an object, the horizontal velocity is constant, and so each one has been placed five blocks from the previous one. However, in the y direction, it is not going to be the same distance each snapshot or each second. And if we look at our equation, the second equation here, we can see that it is quadratic, which means that the first time we take a picture, it's one block away. The second time it's two squared or four blocks away. Next time it's three squared or nine blocks. And the last time in this diagram, at least, it is four squared or 16 blocks away. And so if we trace this trajectory, we see that it is what we call parabolic in nature. And so the path of a projectile is parabolic in its motion. It is not a straight line, so we're not talking about triangles in this case, as we were with vector addition. We're going to start out simple and work our way to more complex problems. So we start out with things just launched horizontally. In that case, the velocity given is the x. And the initial y velocity is zero. We see in the beginning, just like if an object is dropped, even though it's moving horizontally, it's just the same as being dropped. The initial y velocity is zero, and then it picks up speed. So it gets faster and faster as it moves along. So the only velocity given in the beginning is the x if it is launched horizontally. The acceleration in the y direction is always negative 9.81 meters per second squared, just as it was for free fall. And my hint here when solving for the problems is if you can't solve for what you need right away, solve for time first, as we'll see in this first example for our problems. So at this time, uh, you can listen to the second tutorial on projectile motion and how to solve problems launched horizontally.